Happy Finger presents doing introductory statistics using the TI-8384 calculators. Lesson 1 is in this video. Lesson 2 and 3 will be on the next two videos. For this data set or a group of numbers, do the following. Find the mean, median, mode, range, population standard deviation, sample standard deviation, five number summary, etc. To record the data into the calculator memory, I'm going to put it into list number one. First, I'm going to clear. Then, I'm going to go to stat. At the top are three choices, edit, calculate, test. In the edit mode, number one, input my data or change it. Number two, sort it. I want to do number one, so I'm going to go down and press the enter button. Sometimes you may find data from a previous problem. If you want to clear the data out, you can, or you can reuse it. But let's see how to clear the data out. I'm going to move the black box up, and I go up, I press the enter button, and I look at the bottom of the screen here. Here's a list of the numbers in that list. I'm going to press clear. The numbers are still in the list, but they're not at the bottom here. I'm going to press enter one more time. Whoops, they're all gone. Don't do this by accident, because once they're gone, they are gone. I want to erase list number one. To do that, go to the left. Go up. Make sure the box is on L1. I'm going to erase this by pressing clear. It's gone from the bottom, but not from the list, so I'm going to press enter again. One is empty, list one. Now we're going to enter the data that you see over here on the right side. So we start by pressing 9, 1, enter. 94 is the first number in list 1. The calculator is now waiting for the second. That's going to be 5, 9, enter. The third number is 91. 9, 1, enter. I'm going to continue doing this until I entered all 13 numbers. At this point, I may have noticed I made an error. My first number was 94, but the first number of the data is 91. In order to correct an error, you're going to move the black box from here up to the number. So I'm going to go up, 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 and now I'm going to enter the correct number. 91. Enter. So now the first three numbers, 91, 59, 91, are matching my data set. I'm going to go down, down. I'm now in the fourth position, and I will continue with the fourth number, which is 84. 8, 4, enter. Next number is 92. 9, 2, enter. I will continue in this manner until I enter the last number. At this point, I want to make sure that I've entered all the data. I see the data from the problem over here. I see the data on the calculator. The easiest way is just to go up from the bottom, 90, 85, and so on, until I get all the way to the top of the list. When you get to the top of the list, you want to be careful that you don't go up to L1, because bad things can happen if you're not careful. So I'm going to go down to the first number. If you look down here, list 1, position 1 is 91, is the same in the data. I'm going to sort this data, but I don't want to sort it in this position. I want to move all my data from L1 to L2. The easiest way to do that is to go up and to the right and press the Enter button. On the bottom line, input line here, the calculator is asking, where's the data? The data is in list one. So I want to go second, number one. This will enable me to have the calculator move all the data exactly the same as L1. 
You can see 91, 91, 59, 59. At this point, uh, the data is not sorted. So in order to sort the data in list number two, I'm going to go down and press the stat button. I'm going to clear the key press area here. And here we go. Stat. Notice edit is where I entered the data. Sort ascending. I'm going to go down to number two. I'm going to press the enter button. The sort command works on a list. So I'm going to go second. I'm going to press the number two. Now if you look above the number two here, you're going to see a little L2. That little L2 is now inside this parenthesis. I'm going to complete the command by closing it. I'm going to hit enter. It says done, but I don't see the data. So let's go in. I'm going to go to stat. I'm going to go into enter. And now you can see the data. It has been sorted. When I do my visual inspection of my original data set. Here I can see that 54 is the smallest number, 99 is the largest number, and 87 is the middle number. That's not so apparent. So after I sort the data, we will see that it is more apparent. 54 is definitely the smallest number here. On the right side, over here, list 2 on the picture here is now the sorted list, which is the same as list 2 in the calculator. The calculator cannot show all the numbers. So if I go down and quickly go to the bottom of the list, 13. 99, 92, 91, yep, it's the same. From my visual inspection before I sorted, I could see that 54 turned out to be the smallest number, 99 is the largest number, and 87 is physically in the middle. We call that the median. Without doing any calculations on the calculator, we have answered three of the 11 questions. What's the smallest? What's the largest? And what's the middle or median? I now know three of the answers to my 11 questions. My smallest minimum x, 54. My median middle number is 87. And my maximum is 99. So just by sorting the list from smallest to biggest, I can now enter the three answers. Next, we're going to have the calculator find those three numbers for us. In order to do this, I'm going to clear the history area, and I'm going to go back to the stat mode. Again, the three choices at the top, edit, calc, test. I want to go to the right one. I want to pick something called calculate. Item number one is one variable statistics, and that's what we have in list two. So in order to select that, I'm going to press the Enter button. Now, the command from before is still on the home screen. That's OK. I don't have to clear it. On this line, one variable statistics, again, the calculator is asking, where is the data? I could use either list one or list two. And since I've sorted the data in list two, I'm going to reuse list two. Second, number two, and enter. For the rest of the show, go to videos two and three. Have fun.